I'm liking this view. Yeah. I think I might use it again. <laughs> yeah. I like this one better than last week's one. <laughs> that was. But. So, uh, yesterday, uh, I wake up and see the front page of the paper. And. I know. You knew that. This is what I see. It's, uh, it's about the articles about uh, how uh, a husband and wife created an app for uh, iPhones and iPads, and and uh, <clears throat> it helps families diagnose. Uh, their children with autism. Uh, if they suspect their child might have it, then they can use the app, which will help them, uh, determine if they do or, or don't have autism. Uh, it's, uh, the guy's name is, Robbie, I guess, Ron, that goes by Robbie, I guess, maybe, wait, oh, okay, the guy's name is Ron, and his son's name is Robbie, okay, and, and Robbie's the one who has autism, and uh, uh, helped, or, uh, I guess kind of inspired the, the father and mother, Ron and Sharon, to, uh, uh, help m build this app, which the, they don't say what the app is called, I don't think. They say it's a remote autism diagnosis tool called the Naturalistic Observation Diagnostic Assessment, or NODA, N-O-D-A, <laughs> I guess that's how you say it. it. Yeah, it sounds really great. I guess it's like still in the early stages, so it's not available yet. But it works by uh, uh, giving parents uh, some detailed instructions for capturing video uh, that a healthcare provider can use to access the child uh, for autism. Uh, they and then they record what the child does, and then the health care provider, I guess, doctor. You can just say that <laughs> the doctor looks at the video, and then can. And the video can help make a, the doctor, uh, can help the doctor determine what the diagnosis is. Yeah. Because they, they say in here, like, it's kind of hard for, uh, some kids or some families to get a diagnosis because maybe the child won't display uh, their behavior at the appointment. So it, it, it seems like a good, really good idea. Yeah, it, this app might have been helpful for me if it had existed, uh, 15, 20 years ago. 
at least. Uh, uh, yeah, so hopefully it will help other families when it gets released. And... Uh, what else? Uh, uh, there's some other stuff that says, like, uh, uh the, the waiting list for an autism diagnosis in, uh, Idaho is, like, roughly 11 to 12 months, almost a year, which I, I didn't wait that long, but. I, I, I don't know if it's just gone up that much since I was diagnosed, or, I don't know, maybe my parents, uh, uh, started the process long, long before they, they told me. Uh, I, I'm not sure which is, which happened. But, uh, you know, maybe this app will cut down on the weight. Maybe. Because then it goes on to say, uh, uh, Medicaid does not accept technology-based diagnosis for disorders. Uh, on the autism spectrum, so a child would not be eligible for services based just on, uh, this app or any other type of technology-based diagnosis. <clears throat> so that's, that's stupid. Because... The technology is not making the diagnosis. The, a doctor still has to look at the video and make an assessment. So they should change that. But it, it sounds sounds really really amazing. Hopefully, it will be available soon and uh, affordable. And, uh, in, in case you're wondering, my dog, Buddy, he's doing just fine. Back to his normal self. Uh, but like he was in the last video. So, so, uh, he's, he's, everything's good. My job is still, still okay. I mean, I mean, it's it's a restaurant job, so it depends on customers. And some days it's busier, busy. So other days it's not. Like I worked on Memorial Day, and it was not busy at all. No, very slow. But it's it's gonna have to do for now. But anyway, I just thought I would share that news because it, it, it sounds really incredible. Some good news. I, I like it. And until next video.